So this uh, video is on uh, chiropractic and applied kinesiology. Uh, applied kinesiology is a system of muscle testing that was developed by Dr. George Goodhart. Uh, George uh, taught, he uh, practiced in Groves Point, Michigan, taught in Michigan uh, once a month. When I graduated from chiropractic college, I had the great good fortune of uh, living right across the river in Windsor, and once a month I would go over and study with George. And I remember when he was invited to uh, and came back from, more the came back from the Winter Olympics in 1988 in Calgary. Uh, again, he was the first chiropractor. And he was invited because he had in innovated a system that so helped athletes that they, uh, that it, 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 again, he became the first chiropractor. I, I'm, I guess I'm overstating that a little bit. <laughs> But he came back and talked about what it was like walking with the athletes as they entered the Olympic Stadium and uh, the things that he just got. <laughs> he had a new winter coat, uh, oh, several winter coats, I guess, Levi's, uh, hats, uh, and he said everything uh, that he did, uh, every piece of equipment he took was, he said the word they used was sanitized. He took in, apparently, I think, some zenith hylos, and that, that phrase won't make any sense to anybody but chiropractors, but if you've been to a chiropractor, uh, a lot of chiropractors have tables that stand up and then hydraulically go down. They're very comfortable tables, and uh, uh, Dr. George, George Goodhart, uh, took those to the Olympics with him, took a few tables so he could work on the athletes, and uh, he said it was amazing what they did, even then, in 88, to sanitize them, to make sure that they were secured and make sure there was nothing dangerous in them. And that it was a Saturday morning um, in Detroit, or outside Detroit, when he was teaching. And he talked for maybe an hour on what it was like, who he'd met, things like that. And I could have sat there for the rest of the day and listened to him talk just about that. Uh, and he had the discipline to stop and say, okay, no, we've got a lot to teach today, and went on and, and taught it. So I believe it was that time that I went home to my parents, and I was talking to my mom and dad about uh, this new innovation that had come out of the field of chiropractic. And my dad said, what if he's wrong? And I said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay with this for a while, Dad, and I have. It's 30-some uh, years later. Uh, and I'm still practicing kinesiology, chiropractic kinesiology. And my mom said, is he a pioneer? And I, I had not thought about that because it was just something that I stumbled to in school and started following. Uh, and he was. George was a pioneer. He passed away in his 90s after practicing a day, uh, uh, chiropractic apparently, and uh, innovated a system that is so effective in allowing the body to heal itself, uh, and it's why I study it. And so he was the first chiropractor at the Olympics. The whole theme is chiropractors. Uh, no, Olympics. Sorry. Uh, www.micpeakperformance.com. Uh, my book is Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing.